What's up everybody? So we're in day four right now. Just landed in Ensenada, Mexico. So as you guys can see, we kind of got the cruise ship all to ourselves because everybody is trying to go to Ensenada, maybe grab a drink, get some souvenirs, do some activities. But we're probably going to stay onto the boat today because we already got our Mexico fix in Cabo. Here's the port, guys. It doesn't look as nice as Cabo, but still pretty nice views on this cruise. All right, wish me luck, guys. We're about to go on the tube on the Navigator of the Seas. So I'll show you guys. Well, Leo will show you guys where we come out. <laughs> All right, so they got little events like these ones, archery, dodgeball, basketball over there. Nice, bullseye. Two. Two. Three. Four. For the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, get it Man, it's a ticket, talking miser for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, get it So we're about to try the flow rider next, basically surfing on the cruise. Hit the rock climbing wall, went all the way to the top. Right there, the light is flashing. So today is our first day eating at the dining room instead of the breakfast buffet. It's basically a buffet, you get as much items as you want, but it's a fixed menu instead of an all you can eat serve for yourself. So we'll compare the two after our meal. All right, breakfast, steak and fritz. at the pool again today guys so this they actually have a johnny rockets here but it's actually not part of the all-inclusive like i said you kind of have to pay for a lot of random things here so yeah if you want to get some johnny rockets drinks ice cream here it is backstage with a live band right here All right, so we found another spot on top of the sun deck because once you're down there, certain areas get shaded, the lower the sun goes down. But when you're at the top sun deck, you could get sun rays from anywhere. It's not the hottest today. I think it's around 75 degrees, but when the sun is hitting you, it's fine. But I guess one of the highest points on the deck right here. So that is the little public kiddie pool down there. And then we're gonna look for the adult only pool somewhere around here. Let's go. So I'm guessing this is the adult only pool right here. Not the biggest pool, but 
secluded, I guess. Chilling in the adult 16 plus whirlpool jacuzzi. I'm 17. With this 16 year old right here. With his mama. With his mama. <laughs> Yeah, just walking around on the head of the boat. I think this is also another high point of the boat on the north of the boat. But to be honest, guys, I feel like most of the deck on the boat is for tanning. There's not a lot of pools. The pools aren't that big, but I mean, still getting great views of the beach, walking around, getting our tan on here with the views of the Pacific Ocean, so. This is Navigator of the Seas, guys. One of the top spots to eat that's part of the all-inclusive area, the local station. So they have salsa, burritos, nachos, and they got flour tortillas, chicken, beef, pork carnitas, rice, Mexican beans, nachos, the cheese, the chili beef, and then they got pre-made burritos and quesadillas for y'all. Some carne asada and a chicken quesadilla walk. A lot of the food here is hit or miss, but the Mexican food at the local Moco and the carne asada here is pretty, pretty bust down. Mm -hmm. Me and Lair are at level 12 of the sun deck right now, playing mini golf. We actually don't really know how to play mini golf, but we're just learning as we go. Comment down below who you think will win this match. So we're on hole two right now. I'm gonna channel my inner Tiger Woods. Wow. So if you don't have any balconies in your room, on floor 11 there's a bunch of chairs and decks where you could chill. It's pretty empty right now. It's right about dinner time, 7.30. We could chill, lounge, and enjoy the view. All right, y'all. So this found the ultimate Titanic spot right here on the boat. We're at the very front of the boat right now where the helicopter pad is. So we're about to recreate Titanic right now. Let's do it. Jack. Near, far, wherever you are. Sunset right here. So we're going this way now to Ensenada. So the sunset's gonna be on this side of the ship. Just gotta take in the sunset every single day we're here. Definitely one of the best things about this tour so far is just the views and the views of the moving crews and the ships and just watching the sunset and sunrise every morning. So there it is. Look at the view on this whirlpool, guys. Leaving Cabo over there. Very nice. This is, a, this is a shrimp and potato salad for appetizer. This is a escargot that Mr. Yalen got here. This is snail. This is snail, guys. Are you gonna try it? For the vlog, yeah. Okay, for the vlog. Here for the vlog. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what is your critic rating? Describe it, the flavors. It's just too and garlicky. Mm. I'm gonna take a crack at Jalen's escargot. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Garlicky. Very chewy. It's very oily and it's like slimy. Mm. I don't prefer this one, but I've had it once in France. I don't think I like it either. I like Asian escargot though. This is their barramundi, their Asian sea bass. Today, they had one of the best items on the dinner menu. They had lobster tails, so I got two, of course. Probably gonna get a little bit more. I love lobster, you know that. Okay, so Got another lobster tail. <laughs> so we're doing a mashup of our vlogs. This is basically day four and five until we land back in Los Angeles. But yeah, guys, so this is the start of the next day. <laughs> you hear those seals all the way over there? They're loud. They woke us up. Ensenadis seals. So this is how the gym looks today. 
when it's empty, this is day four. We just landed in Ensenada. So I guess people don't want to go to the gym anymore. But yeah, here's a fresh view of the gym. Weight room right here. Not too much. But that view is Ensenada right there, baby. We're here for lunch. A lot of people are in Ensenada right now, so we got the buffets all to ourselves and just open. Let's see if the food is better. All right, got the basic bread station right here. Some dessert, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. Ooh, they got a huge apple pie right here. Some more cakes, desserts, fruit tarts. Very colorful. Got a whole pork leg right there. Nice. Got some vegetable fried rice, vegetables, chicken palak with chicken curry, spinach, rice, more Indian food, yellow dal, bapia, sweet and sour pork, fried chicken. Ooh, got the Caribbean stew right here. Potato, that looks delicious. I'm gonna grab some of that. Barbecue pork ribs. Uh, called flour with cheese. More tilapia, Italian food, some fresh salad, some grilled veggies, grilled pork chop, grilled swordfish, ooh, okay. Grilled steak, nice, and grilled chicken breast. A lot of protein. So today's lunch actually looks pretty good. There was a lot of grilled items, so I got grilled pork chop, grilled steak right here, chicken curry, couscous, vegetable fried rice, a beef rib, and some Caribbean beef stew. I was trying to find a seat right next to the window for the ocean view at the buffet. Let's try this beef rib. Hmm. On a bit of a dry side, but it's not bad. It has a good, good flavor. Let's try this Caribbean stew. Mmm. Meat is very tender. Nice and um, kind of like sweet sauce. It's a good Caribbean stew. So basically, we were told by one of the workers that the reason why that there's so much food for the Caribbean, the Philippines, India is because a lot of the staff here are from those countries, so they take turns cooking. And yeah, so you're gonna get some good authentic Caribbean and Indian food here for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's try this pork chop. Mm. Fresh, tender, it came straight off the grill, so you would expect that. Let's try this little piece of steak. Mm. Nice and salty. This is definitely the best plate at uh, this buffet I, I, I've gotten. I've usually missed a lot at this buffet. A lot of the items were dry, but we just got here. One of the first guests, so maybe that's why. Because all this food, it's the best experience I've had at this buffet. Day four. And this is the Indian green curry. Ooh, nice spice to it. Chicken's very tender. It's good. All right, so we got a scoop of ice cream pie with three scoops of vanilla ice cream to go. Here you go. Cheers. Day four, side is first. You get a pina colada. What'd you get? The painkiller. The painkiller. <laughs> I thought it was the lime and coconut. But it's, it's called, called the painkiller. Oh, the lime and coconut painkiller. Okay. Mm. Nice and milky, refreshing. You can't oh, miss with the pina colada. Especially on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Also not included, this is about $13 without tax and tip. If there was an ice cream cone counter, this would be at least like 17 These are so good. I've been eating these all day. Mm -hmm. Having a shot with some DVW viewers right here. What's up, DVW fam? DVW fam. What's up? Max got Max up. over there. What's your PJ. Name? PJ. I'm Jen. Hi. Awesome. BBW fam. Yup. Always great meeting some fans, especially when we're out traveling. Yeah. Gotta take a shot. Salut. There you go. Oh. Lemon. Oh, yeah. Tequila when you're in Mexico. Taking advantage of the Solarium Jacuzzi. Lots of vibes right here. Nice views in the Jacuzzi. Let me 
We got a special drink, <laughs> this mango smoothie right here with grenadine sauce and the jacuzzi with rum. Refreshing. All right, our last day, got to make a count at the dining service. So new items are, that looks good. Ooh, crispy coconut shrimp, aged prime rib. Hmm, what are the profitories? Maybe I'll try that. Ooh. Appetizer, the coconut Thank shrimp you. was recommended to us. Looks pretty good. Thank you. Mm, really crunchy. One of the best appetizers here for sure. My last prime rib of the cruise. Last day, so why not? An extra tortellini pasta. What is this? Brownie. Brownie with ice cream. Whatever that word is. Perifatoli. So the puff pastries with cream inside. Brownie. This is supposed to be dark chocolate mousse. Just landed in LA, last breakfast at the dining room before we leave. So yeah, this was our final day and last breakfast on the Navigator of the Seas Royal Caribbean tour. And that was our whole five day trip basically here. So if you guys want to see more info about how the cruise went, please watch the vlogs before and like this video and subscribe for more DBW vlogs. Deuces.